Hey there guys, I am literally watching paint dry right now. What you see behind me is the lower workbench base for my Ron Polk workbench build that I did a couple of months back. And I painted it in none other than Homesteadonomics Gray, which is what I paint everything in. Uh, but anyway, instead of uh, being unproductive and watching the paint dry, I'm gonna take you inside the shop and do a little odd project that I've been thinking about for a while. Uh, that I think might be useful, but also look pretty cool. So let me take you in the shop and uh, I'll show you what I'm going to do. While I'm waiting on the paint to dry on the project outside, let me show you what I'm going to be working on in here for this smaller, much more random project. So the first thing you can see on the workbench are a couple of reference boards. You've probably seen these at a hardware store or a Home Depot. And as you can see from the verbiage, they are for checking threads on nuts and bolts. I received these from a viewer uh, two or three years ago, and he also sent me some drawer glides, which I actually used on a couple of workbench builds. I'll show you a clip of that right now. Um, but I told him I wasn't sure when I would ever be able to use these, but if he wanted to send me uh, them, I'd be happy to, uh, you know, keep them for a future project. And that's what I'm going to be doing today. I want to use these in a fashion where they can kind of flip so they don't take uh, too much room. And I'm planning on placing them underneath that vintage auto cabinet right there. The color of the blue in that cabinet and these reference boards is actually almost the exact same. So I think it'll look cool, but also be uh, useful as well. And I'm going to be using uh, the cutouts from my workbench build. Um, those are six inch hole saw cutouts. So basically what I'm going to do is figure out a way to mount these uh, in a reciprocating fashion uh, opposite of one another on these cutouts so that the whole thing can kind of roll and I'll probably make some sort of little handle so I can turn it to flip this from metric to standard and back and forth. Definitely not necessary, but uh, I still think it'll be a cool project. So let me get to cutting and uh, we'll see what I can come up with. So at this point, this thing is pretty much finished. Um, I coated all the wood in a spray coat of polyurethane. And I think the last thing I may do is just uh, come up with some sort of stop mechanism to hold it in position from the standard side to the metric side. Uh, you can see there's probably about twice as many nuts and bolts. So it's a little bit heavier on this side and it wants to kind of slowly walk this way. So I just may add a magnet or something like that. Um, or I may just add some washers and kind of do it where it's just got a little friction. So uh, I think the next clip you're going to see it mounted underneath that cabinet and 
and that'll be the video. Real quick, one thing I wanted to point out before I mount this. I'm sure some of you may be wondering why I used these circular cutouts on the sides of this when I could have just made this rectangle frame and simply drilled the hole and it would have worked just the same. Well, I had these cutouts available and obviously because they were cut out with a hole saw, they have a perfectly centered hole. So when I built this rectangle, I could simply just uh, center the rectangle on the circle and then I would make sure my hole was perfectly in the center so this would uh, rotate really nicely. And the last thing is just because I kind of think it looks cool. All right guys, that is pretty much gonna do it for this project. I know it wasn't the biggest of projects, but hopefully it was interesting and perhaps it maybe gives you some ideas for some little project that you might've been thinking about for a long time that number one, isn't gonna take a lot of materials. Number two, can kind of be more of just a fun thing and maybe something for you to experiment with. Maybe something you've been thinking about because obviously that's not necessary. I've been having those boards in my garage for a long time and I've just kind of pulled them off the shelf and used them whenever I needed them. Certainly didn't need to do this, but uh, anyway, it was kind of a fun, quick project. And I think uh, maybe more projects like this will be in my future just to kind of break up some of these bigger builds. So if you like this, give it a thumbs up. Uh, hit subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And uh, as always, I will see you guys on the next one. And I got a few that should be coming up more regularly. I got a trailer hitch for my truck. A couple travel trailer ones, the workbench build, lower base, some IBC tote, rainwater harvesting stuff, and that should uh, be the next about four to six weeks. All right, see ya.